Hey guys, you are most welcome again in my class and this is open class here. I want to uh, discuss about any topic, any topic about literature, but today's topic is metaphysical poetry. As uh, today's comment I got for uh, uh, that was Biographia Literaria. But today, because I have already selected this topic, metaphysical poetry, for me, actually I am making my notes like this, okay, and I am doing some discussion over it. So... I make videos for you and uh, <clears throat> lots of good comments are coming out there and uh, I want you to join me on my WhatsApp okay as well and if you join there uh, someday I want to make a discussion group there so let's talk uh, talk about uh, metaphysical poetry uh, today and uh, in this uh, in this regard I have a poet John Dunn and we will be talking about John Dunn too but before that I let me tell you something about from uh, you know my notes actually this was a group of poetry and uh, the strange thing about uh, metaphysical poetry is they even didn't know that we are metaphysical poets there was a guy named Dryden later he called them metaphysical poets and uh, he was not, you, you know, really happy with the uh, with the poetry written by John Dunn. Now he called them uh, metaphysical in his, uh, you know, uh, one of his work, and he said he affects the metaphysical. He or he is John Dunn, all right. And he was critical about, uh, you know, critical of John Dunn in his poetry. He was not praising. He was not happy. And uh, there was another Mr. Johnson, and uh, he he was, you know, referring to Cowley. And he said that Johnson was, uh, you know, again, metaphysical poet. And uh, if we say, we look an example from Johnson's, you know, lives of poetry, uh, there is a long, 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 long now paragraph. He talks about metaphysical poetry. So these are the things. And if you are thinking about what metaphysical poetry is, and uh, how can we separate it from satire, we can uh, separate it from ode, and we can separate it from, uh, you know, uh, different kinds of poetry. So, there are uh, some particular qu quality of, uh, you know, metaphysical poetry, and those are, let me read it from, uh, for you. They use, you know, different kind of conceits. Conceit, if you don't know, conceit for your uh, information, these are uncommon metaphors, alright, uncommon metaphors they are using. Like, um, have you read that, uh, you know, the example of, uh, you know, two lovers, like, uh, twin compass? They, there is, okay, John Dunn's poetry. They, there is, uh, you know, Death Be Not Proud by John Dunn. Uh, he's writing like, it is not I, but death die. John Dunn says this. So, they usually use, uh, you know, uncommon. Like, if I have a girlfriend, I'll say, my girlfriend is like apple. They use hyperboles, they use conceits, they use scientific experiments, and they use, uh, they wrote, you know, religious poetry, and, but, there was a great thing about their poetry, as they used informative poetry. They wrote a lot of information in their poetry. Alright, so, these are common things about, uh, you know, metaphysical poetry. Now, we are going to talk about... Uh,